In November 2010, North Korea revealed that it was building a light water reactor at the Yongbyon Nuclear Research Center. Yongbyon houses several other facilities of note, including the Russian-supplied IRT-2000 research reactor, the 5-megawatt reactor, an abandoned 50-megawatt reactor, a reprocessing facility, and a new gas centrifuge plant that may supply the low-enriched uranium for the light water reactor, though outside analysts worry the facility is in fact intended to supply North Korea's weapons program with highly enriched uranium. North Korea revealed the light water reactor to several U.S. scientists during a November 2010 visit to Yongbyon. By April 2011, North Korea had laid the foundation for the reactor and turbine generator halls and started constructing the reactor dome and pump house. While visiting the site, Stanford University's Siegfried Hecker estimated the output of the reactor will be approximately 25 to 30 megawatts electric upon completion. By October 2011, North Korea had finished building the walls of the turbine generator hall and reactor hall and made further progress in building the reactor core and dome. The pump house still needed a roof. By November 2012, North Korea had finished most of the external construction, placed a reactor dome over the core, and built roofs for the turbine generator hall and the pump house, although significant work still remained to be done. It is unclear whether it will be feasible for North Korea to connect the completed reactor successfully to its antiquated electricity grid. Because North Korea's nuclear program is no longer under IAEA safeguards, the international community will be unable to verify whether plutonium produced in the new reactor is diverted. Unlike the 5 megawatt graphite moderated reactor, which produced weapons grade plutonium for North Korea's first nuclear weapons, the new light water reactor will produce so called reactor grade plutonium, which is weapons usable but suboptimal. Experts therefore debate whether the regime sees the new reactor as a nuclear energy prestige project or a source of new weapons materials.